light's not on though, huh? Mm -hmm. Do I have the right end? Looks like it. Well, I don't know about oh, them right here. Boom. And boom. There it is, the light's on. Hello, friends. Hello, hello. Welcome to Ellen J. Goods down here in the basement, the Basement Chronicles. Megan, as soon as you have the ability, just check to make sure that I am in focus, I guess. But, um,. Welcome, hello. Let's get ourselves settled here and do a few introductions. My name is Lynn Brundage. I am here at our little shop called Ellen J. Goods in Medina, New York. And we are a vintage retail uh, home goods store and also lots of DIY goodies. So we have all the things to make all the things, right? Uh, Megan's here with me behind the scenes. She's going to be answering your questions. Jane's As here. Shannon's here. Patty, Sandy, Laura Hall, Karen, Catherine, Wendy, Denise, Arlinda, all of our friends are here basically. Arlinda, it's so nice to see you again. Bad it. All of you, look for our friend Deborah Sturgis too. I will. Um, hopefully she can pop on. She was having some uh, Facebook problems. Anyway, um, hey, Rachel. yeah, so last week, if you joined us here on the Basement Chronicles, we were working on um, this set of end tables, side tables, bedside tables. I decoupage them and then I left them alone for a whole week. You don't know how hard it was for me to leave these and not come down and take a peek and do a little stuff with them. Um, but today what I want to do is show you how I finish a piece of furniture that I have decoupaged and I think you'll find it really interesting. So again, let me welcome you here. We are in the basement. We have been going live once a week on Facebook, right down twice here in the basement. On, twice a week on Facebook and once a week on YouTube. Once a week on YouTube is right. And we have... Uh, goal to clear out this basement of projects that have been sitting around. We're working on things a week at a time. The goal is for me to reclaim my upholstery area because I truly hope that one of these days I'll get to do a little upholstery tutorial with you guys. So if you haven't already, thank you for subscribing. Do us a big favor and um, go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. Make sure that you um, let us know that you are following and what kind of content you want to see on our channel. Hi, Melissa. And you know, it doesn't all have to be in the basement. Just throwing that out there. We do a lot of things upstairs in a really well-lit environment with great cameras. So you can always... Are you using the same camera? Well, no. We have uh, cameras that you can change the angle instead of me tipping a huge tripod oh, down. Oh, no, you can, one. we have this all fixed up, so okay. now all you gotta do is use that little arm to switch things. And it does I will never get her to like the baby. No, because it's shaky. Oh. If you're live, <laughs> that is not ideal. If you're editing, that's fine. Go on. All right, so speaking of editing, watch for um, a cottage tour video coming not only to, um, a page here or an account here on YouTube called Live in It Country, but I will also be adding a cottage tour to our channel here. That she painstakingly. Oh my gosh, it took she so She could not have come long. up against more obstacles. I'm telling you, it has been one thing after another, which resulted in um, ultimately um, Ellen J. Goods has purchased a new camera for video streaming and a new computer. So <laughs> which was overdue anyway. It was overdue. It was overdue. Hey Tracy, so, hey Sandy. It's so good to have you here. Thank you so much for watching. Are you guys like in the thick of holiday prep and so forth? Oh my gracious. Um, Cheryl's here. Hi Cheryl. So let's remind you about Take her shoes off. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna hear all the She's got a cute little clickety clack. Andy loves your shirt. Why thank you. So we had done these pieces um, last week. I decoupaged these with Mint by Michelle 
foil bird paper. And um, this is not the final paint job. This has had about two or three coats of Ben shellac based primer because this was had horrible bleed through. So we um, we then measured these to get them ready for the day. We um, added the holes. Megan, you might want to run up and tell her to finish what? up. Or what would you just, like me to tell her to do? Just tell her we're, um, we're filming in the footsteps. So, or, but what would you like for her to do? Um, <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> Stop watching. So um, anyway, we um, we had filled in the previous uh, holes that were in here because they were those old fashioned bat wing kind of uh, pulls, right? And um, I filled those in with Bondo and then we came in and re-drilled holes for our new crystal knobs that are going to go on here. So I want to show you, remember that I sealed over this, or I decoupaged over all of this as one unit. So now what we're going to do is we're going to come in here and separate these drawers. So I will uh, tip this down a little more. Okay. And I use, I just use a single edge razor. Luckily, I have never cut my finger off with one of these. Lots of people are fans of living it country. Oh, is that right? I have never, I've never been um, 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 honored to be a part of her cottage tours. So I have her, her holiday Bless. tours or whatever. So I'm really excited about it. And I, I like I said, it's been a production just with multiple um, issues that came up and so forth. So <laughs> anyway, um, so here is our piece. I see JR forgot to, oh no, there it is. There's the hole. So we have all of our holes drilled. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a single edge razor to very carefully, Slide between the drawer and the rail here. Okay. okay. Michelle said, I'm going rogue, Lynn, and trying upholstering a little antique occasional chair. I'm in the process of choosing fabrics for my stash, hoping to pull up a mixed pattern look. Wow, Michelle, our, that's really exciting. Okay, so I'm just, I'm gonna go along each edge of my drawer and I am separating between the edge of the drawer and the outside case of the furniture. I tried not to get too much decoupage medium on here, but I think like here, I'm a little bit. Thank you. Oh, there we go. Stephanie said that's a good camera angle. Good. Okay, so look at here. I tore just a little bit, but we're not gonna worry about that. I'm gonna show you how I fix something like that. But here we go. And really, we should be able to just slide that razor blade right in that little opening. You were very patient and let this dry all that time. Megan, and I was so it. patient. I'm really proud of myself, I'm telling you. You were pretty busy, so that does I did have help. a lot of things going on. That's right. So. Okay. Cheryl said, truly, that paper is so gorgeous. It hurts to look at. It's really beautiful. It's so beautiful. I love this. It's Grandma Sally finally remembered to sign in. Grandma Sally! Still working on my seven eat, drink, and be merry trays. Just can't keep it simple. Oh, Grandma Sally. And I don't know if you joined us last week, but I want to thank you for that sweet little package that you sent 
you know I'm a pink lover, and you know Megan's a pink lover, and I, we, those little bookmarks are adorable, but I'm telling you it was the thought behind it that really was so lovely. Um, and I, we just appreciate it so much. And we're book lovers as well. Yes. So it's perfect. Um, Arlinda says, I'm breaking down palettes to make mold forms, and I'm loving the new papers. Arlinda, you are something. What's girl. a mold form? You're breaking down what? Palettes. I don't know. You must be creating some molds, I would bet. Um, Michelle says, this is so beautiful, Lynn. Have you had time to choose a color for the carcass? I did. And I was all over the place, Michelle, as far as what color I was going to choose. I'm going to tell you what am I, what my first thought was, was to do this in a copper metallic, but I was like, yeah, I do have to sell these. So I have to go a little more, um, a little more neutral. She said, I said, she said, what? I walk like a ballerina. <laughs> I said, it's not you. Every sound carries. And then she said, should I not wash dishes now? I said, no, please do. Yes, please wash the dishes. <laughs> Just, and while you're standing at the sink in one position, clean the sink, organize yes. the cupboards. <laughs> she will too. She will too, I know. And I'm just going to give these, I'm a little stuck right here. And again, that can happen if we get too much, um, I, I, have, I just like have these like thoughts of like basomatic <laughs> happening yeah. right now <laughs> with Dan Aykroyd doing Julia Child. Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> Susan oh. says, pink is hot this year. Thanks to you. I just finished an arch window in vintage pink. Hang my wreath in, how pretty. I love, you know, and I gotta tell you something. Now, my husband would never, he always, he never liked when I would paint something pink for the shop, right? And they were always a little bit more of a challenging sell. I would That's why admit. most of them are at my house. <laughs> I just wait. Ate it out. Actually, no, Heather <laughs> bought that wonderful petite little buffet that had the mint by Michelle yes, Rose in the that background. It was really so cute. beautiful. But when Fusion came out with, there we go, we've got it released. When Fusion came out with Rosewater, he totally, he loved that paper or that color. Sorry. Yeah, it's pretty. Okay, and there I got just a little hang up right here. Bear with me, it's gonna shake a little bit. All right, so there we go. I am going to, uh, now I'm gonna pull these drawers out. Okay. And we're gonna start working on the drawers um, after I show you how I treat the the outside, the, the carcass. So where will you be? Um, what, what the heck happened to these scissors? Oh, <laughs> they were jammed up. I know, I was like, so wow. Like cut right off. Why weren't they thrown um, away? Are you going to pull this over? Yeah, I will. Let okay. me just grab one thing here. I'll turn this around so you can kind of see what you're doing. Ugh. This time of year, I could get 12 hours of sleep a night and I'm still yawning. I know. It's so gloomy. I know it really is. Yeah. Hey, it, Karen. It is so gloomy. And now, and every day is like the next when it comes to the weather, right? It really is. Like we don't have like a break of sunshine. I don't mind a bright, sunny, snowy day. Well, yeah, and that Cold, will come. That's fine. That's gonna come. Cheryl, I had a fabulous. We only had one night away together. We agreed. To the two of us, it should never be less than 48 hours, but we've had a wonderful time, Sally and I. Okay, our 
Lita says, I use wood for larger molds I'm making. I found a beautiful lion shell with two large heads on the ends to keep the shape from shifting. I use wood to reinforce the forms when pouring them. Wow. Okay, so I just use this little tool. I don't even know what you call it. It's like an awl, I think, but it's not a super sharp one, but it's a graduated shaft on here so I can stick it right in and um, and it sticks into the drawer hole so I can pull them out easily. So now what we're left with is, Cheryl, or, um, Michelle says your lighting is on point, guys. I've only she could see what we're working with here. <laughs> well, thank, thank you, you Michelle. That means a lot to us. Thank you. <laughs> That means so much. It is much. not easy to do down here, so thank you. All right. Cheryl, thank you. I hope you get to meet Sally someday. I am going to get all of my other tools ready here. So I'm going to grab a little bit of this, a little sandpaper, okay? I am going to get my rock hard top coat ready and a little dish to put it in and uh, my zebra top coat brush. And all of these things will be linked in the description box below when this gets uploaded. I never have time to um, do that description box before we go live. Mm -hmm. So now I'm just going to carefully take my razor blade and trim off any of this excess paper that's kind of overhanging and scrape that off. Some of it is kind of glued on to the piece, but it's not to worry. All of that will come off when we paint and do a little sanding. Let me get in a little closer so I can okay. see that better. Just very gently removing. Because in some of the some of these areas, I did get some of the medium over on the side of the uh, the the table, so naturally it kind of stuck a little bit. But again, it'll all be it'll all be taken care of. Okay. But I'm cutting. And trimming to eliminate all of this excess. And what you'll see is when I have decoupaged this, especially when you're working on drawers that have openings and then these little rails, some of this paper has not completely adhered, but it's okay because we can easily come back in. See this right here? This is one of those little areas that we're going to fix up. But you don't want to remove that. And most of this is truly going to come off with our sand pad. So now what I want to do is I want to get this um, smoothed out along these edges where the decoupage paper has been cut and where there might be a little bit of a buildup of our medium. And I tell you what, that's the LMJ Goods difference. That attention to detail, mm -hmm. in my opinion, that's so. how you know one of our pieces apart from others many times. Yeah. So what you want to do, here's what I do, is I go through this, and as I'm working on each individual rail or each section, I will, I can, I use my fingers and I'm feeling along here to make sure that I have complete adhesion. Now, there are a couple spots, even on this rail right here, that I am going to be We're really not going to be doing any blending of paint today. <laughs> Kathy said, be careful. Megan has zoomed in and I don't want to see blood. I know, right? <laughs> you did use you did use rock hard on this as the decoupage medium. I sure did. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. And remember that while the paper was wet, I also um, 
put a coat of rock hard over it. And so this is sealed up right now, which is great because when I go to add my sealer later on, it's not going to bubble up. Okay, so let me do. Okay, if you're bumping the um, you're oh, bumping I'm the so tripod. Sorry. I was like, I don't think it's on that much of a delay that I would be, that it's bumping from that. So I'm gonna gently take my sandpaper and get any of the excess little extra bits off of the side right off. But I want to make sure I've got a nice smooth edge along the rails and inside the um, the drawer casing. Sorry, I can't go back any further without really changing the angle. Let me. Um, there we go. Is that okay? I can stay here and hold it if you feel like. Oh no, I'll just be conscious of what I'm doing there. Okay, and I'm all and I'm feeling along and just carefully inspecting to see oh. where I may have any loose edges. <laughs> My well, pink who charger. Who knew? Okay, now we're gonna get out our top coat. Okay, question. Sure. Will the pattern repeat? Oh, sorry. With the pattern repeat on foil birds, does it repeat top to bottom as well as side to side? It does. Isn't that incredible? So it opens up a whole world of possibilities for a dresser that goes like a high boy and also like a buffet type Very of a situation. Nice. All right, I'm going to get a little bit in my beautiful crystal dish. <laughs> Arlene is helping her sister open a thrift store for our nonprofit. Oh, that's, that's nice. nice. Okay, and so hopefully you guys can see this. Again, I'm checking to make sure that I have complete adhesion along here. And remember this little spot right here? I'm going to lift that up. Sorry, everyone, for the bumpies. And I'll pull it back until I can't pull it anymore because I want to make sure that I get it completely adhered. So I put a layer of that down and then a layer right on top and make sure that it's all sealed all the way around and we should be good to go. I, oops, I got a little bit right there. If you pull your finger along those edges, it, you're gonna find those spots where, where it's a little bit loose, that it needs attention. Okay. And while I'm here, I'm gonna go ahead and give this another coat of sealer. You know what, why not? Why not? Then I can just work my way down. Okay, I did this guy, I sanded. Let's, it does seem like why would you not paint the piece before doing this? Um, because of the sanding and stuff. Because I had to put, um, I had to put adhesive, or I had to, um, put the bin primer over the whole thing anyway. Yeah. So that's all. No, I just mean like paint the rest of it. I, you know. But I, I see that you're sanding parts of it, so that makes yes, sense. Yes. Yeah. And there again, I got just a tiny little bit. It may seem like, oh, what a pain in the butt to have to do this, but it really does um, make a difference. If you take that time. Now, will you be able to tape off? Yeah, I'll just use, my, I'll just use a really, I mean, I'll just carefully go up to the edge. So, but I'm just saying, can you? You can, you as long as your um, sealer is completely dry, okay. of course. So here again, I have a little bit here that did not adhere you can hear that probably mm -hmm. so i'm going to lay that down and apply my medium right over top of it and let me okay and so i'm going to go ahead and seal this up and i'll know i'm done here And 
heavens to Betsy, I'm telling you, if you've got a little tiny bit of something peeking through from the background, look at the pattern. Nobody's going to notice it. You step back 10 feet, no one will notice that you might have a little area that bird might notice. That bird could notice. Yeah. Yeah. There's a little worm. So I'll move down to the next rail. And I'll do, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to use my sanding block to remove any excess from the interior of the uh, drawer opening. And along the top and bottom of each of these rails. You know, you know Megan, have you ever made a Yule log? I have not. I'm kind but of curious so about it. They're so fun. They Look are. Here. I'll tell you, we do we have a local friend that makes one every year for Is it um JC? Oh really? She does. Yes. I just she think knew. I want to try it. And they're beautiful. They they're and beautiful. they're tasty as well. Yes. Well, maybe I'll order one. You know what, Megan? I have to I'm thinking that many years ago I did When I think I did. What's the flavor of a Yule log? Anybody here? Just the, all this attention to detail mom is doing has got me, got me thinking about a beautiful the, Yule log. I just love the, the um, detail of a Yule log. The, I don't know what the word is. The look of it is so... And then you make, the, yeah. you make the little meringue mushrooms yes. to put on them. Yeah. I mean, how cute. Absolutely. I just love anything that would attract a woodland creature. That's not maybe a mouse. I, maybe I didn't make a Yule log, but I certainly made plenty of roll cake rolls. Oh, you did? Oh, I sure did. So is it, are you making the cake, I would guess, in a sheet pan? Yes. And you're putting parchment under so that you can kind yes, of roll it out. Yes, it's really thin. And yes, and then you roll it like in a, in a cloth, a soft cloth. Hmm. That Cook's Illustrated has like an immaculate. Oh, I, I'm sure they do. Recipe. Okay, and again, I'm going to just... I just, I thought I knew what you were talking about until you said tasty. It is like a rolled up chocolate cake. It is, yeah. Okay, they're not that hard to make. Probably not. It's I really like know, when people the make their realistic bark looking frosting. Yeah, and then you, you add that little chunk of chocolate yeah, roll the side. on the top. And then you take, um, with your frosting, you take a fork and score through it to look like bark. No, it's, you're really sounding like someone who has made I, many I'm Yule trying, logs. I'm just trying Because you're describing think. it. I'm just trying to think Very if I well. really ever have. Somewhere in my memory lies the thought of a Yule log. Wow. <laughs> already know to roll it in a towel mm -hmm. just don't overcook it I didn't know about rolling it in a towel every year Tracy makes one for Christmas Eve dessert oh, oh my gosh it just sounds okay. like a wonderful tradition that's what I'm saying I feel like I need, to, need to make, one make my life more complicated Can we <laughs> yeah. Add a Yule log to the mix. I'm already rolling up Stromboli every Christmas Eve. I, I might as well roll up a Yule. Everything I bring well, we to the table, the Christmas Eve table, is will rolled. be rolled <laughs> with we, filling. We <laughs> pinwheels. Yes. <laughs> everything. Oh my gosh, I used to make like pecan pinwheel cookie, shortbread cookies and all the Betty Crocker dessert. Cookie. Okay, so this part is done. Almost. Yes, yeah, she is a good singer, yes. There's not a lot she can't do, Patty. Well, like I said, I can't fix your car. Absolutely not. Oh, Kathy said, I thought a Yule log was a log that you drilled holes in for candles and decorated with greenery. It's probably that, too. Yes. <laughs> yes. But traditionally, and no doubt, I wonder if it's a German. Is Patty um, or Patricia on here? No, I don't think Patricia so. Patricia is is our go-to for historic facts. Patrice. You Patrice, yes. Wow. Sorry. My version sounds better. Your version sounds lovely, too. Okay. This, this is done. Okay. 
Let's Michelle said, I think my strengths lie in other areas like furniture painting. <laughs> I struggle with fancy recipes. My sister-in-law, anytime, like I will, because we have like a group chat where I'll sometimes, we all sometimes share things that we cooked or whatever. And great video. I don't know. I wonder who here saw the video of Hattie and Mabel. I sent it to the tax group came with Rebecca's with permission. <laughs> they came down with a terrible case of chicken pops. Oh and they're... <laughs> and I wonder allergies. if they were able to... Yes, I wonder and if they were able to go to school. Today. Some of those chicken pops were downright artistic and beautiful. <laughs> and looked like a giant flower. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh my gosh, was that not the oh, best? Oh, no, they are just... It was the best. I love and adore that. And I just love when Mabel said, No, we just need to rest. We just need to rest. Yes. <laughs> um anyway my sister-in-law well i'll be like no it's really simple and then i will send the recipe and she'll say as soon as you get to chop onions i'm out <laughs> that's what i mean by simple <laughs> <laughs> or it's kind of like first you make a roux right nope done <laughs> Oh, a pumpkin roll and de decorate it like birch logs. Oh, that's a good idea. Melinda said, what catalog is that where they have those and petty fours and all those cute little Yule logs with squirrels and chipmunks and mushrooms and stuff on them? Oh. Like, I can just order it? Oh, there's Kahlua in the filling. Is there? Okay, Sammy so... Sammy loves making Yule logs. With my drawer, I am doing the same thing. I'm going at a 45 degree angle along the edges and that just cleans them up so nicely and the, all of the marker did come off it was not permanent my brother got yes. it all off which is crazy i thought that they would be just like looking like kind of even it's almost worse when it looks like faded and dirty <laughs> I, got it all I like off. I like how uh, she said, "Oh, if you're sick, you, does that mean you can't go to school?" And Hattie's like, "Yes." It's only a half day today, so <laughs> she's totally fine. Uh, okay, so right here, I had a little bit of a tear. See that? Now. I could come in here and I could like paint with metal. I'm just not going to do it, you guys. Wow. I'm not going to do it. There goes that attention to detail that everybody was no, screaming about. No, because what you can do is you can take a little bit, a little scrap of the paper that was left over and kind of fill that in. So I'm just going to choose... Honestly, I'm just going to choose a little something that has kind of the same background. Georgine's footsteps have gone completely silent. But I can hear she a giant voice, but I am curious what went on to make her footsteps go silent. Mm -hmm. I guess JR talking. Okay. <laughs> so I'll just uh, do How do I pronounce it? Bush? De Noel? Bush, Bush, Bush de Noel. Yes, yeah. I know that because I had a bath bomb once or twice from Lush by that very name. Okay, I've got to make a Yule log. Okay, guys, so see what I did? I just patched right over that. All right. Beautiful. Beautiful! One down. Let's do this guy. Now, honestly, what I would do here is I would go ahead and fix these little spots before I sanded. So, but because we're on camera and I want to get through this, I'm sanding before I fix them just so you can see the finished project. But that one really took a tear but I'm going to be really careful with that. Swiss Colony was the catalog. Oh my gosh remember those little fours? Oh, I want to see it. Oh my gosh Swiss Colony. Boy does that bring back memories. Really? Alright so we're going to lift all of this pull it back 
to reveal where it won't pull back anymore. And lay that down, go all along here, and let's seal this up along the edge. So when I um, put my final sealer over this, I'm going to make sure little laggy here for me, but not frozen. Okay, we're good now. Michelle says, so for school holidays, my favorite thing when I was a girl was to bake, but with pretty questionable results. I once attempted a donut recipe and they turned out more like rock cakes. Have you ever watched the show Nailed It? It's one of my favorite shows to watch with, um, my littler boys well actually our whole family will watch it because the premise is basically they show these beautiful fun desserts that they make that you see pictures of on pinterest and instagram and then these amateur bakers have to recreate it and the results are do you think hilarious lot, do you think a lot of that is kind of put on though I, no because you watch them the whole way through making it i mean it's fun i haven't you experienced it yourself for like I'm just like imagining already like what I'll imagine my Yule log to look like and then what it will look like like I've had that experience trying to make a beautiful food especially baking that does not look like the picture and I'm remembering a birthday cake that I made for Jonathan once that was like rainbow layers and the colors were awful <laughs> did anybody ever make one of the speaking of rainbow layers when I was younger, like the whole Jello, the stacked Jello. Oh my gosh! Yeah, and all those beautiful. And did you try to make it? Layers of like lit. Oh my gosh! It was just beautiful. Wait, you accomplished it? Oh yeah. But haven't you ever experienced trying oh. to make something look like? Sure. No, it always turns out perfect for you. No, I'm sure it doesn't. I can't say that you try that well, often. Well, look at my baked goods. Baked goods. It's not like you were getting really fancy with the sugar cookie decor. The what? The sugar cookie decor. I'm trying to think of like other fancy desserts where you would have well, to, where they were embellished. Those guys have got to quiet it down up there. Can you guys hear them talking upstairs? I only hear one voice. Okay. And it's a man's voice. The familiar man's voice who's got a lot to say about a lot of things. And I love him to pieces, but... Oh. <laughs> so, Arlita said, watching Lynn being all edgy and cool in her torn jeans, making equally edgy, cool furniture. Oh, come on, <laughs> There Arlita. is nobody edgier than oh. Lynn. <laughs> Yeah, that's me, all right. Oh, that's funny. Those edgy torn jeans. Yeah, <laughs> she's headed to a rock concert right after this, okay? I'm going to go to a rave. Who's the band? Nobody knows. Fruitcake. How do you feel about fruitcake? Nope. What's a trifle? Is that like a <gasps> I've made layer? those. I've made those. Is that like a parfait, basically? It is. It is. And then you... Um, and then, so you, you put a, a layer of the sponge. It has a, a cream, like, a pudding kind of a filling. Uh, raspberry preserves, or strawberry preserves. And it's just layered, one on top of the so other. So it's like a parfait. But kind of, yeah. But you put it in a big, beautiful yeah, Christmas like I used dish. To, but I used and, to oh make, um, even the Death by Chocolate, I used to make, like, a trifle like that. I remember making many a trifle in my day for our holiday um, Patty said, as a kid, I loved to bake, but something happened along the way, and now I'm a terrible baker. It is a science. Do you think, do you think also that it's like once you get out of the hang of it, um, it's like with anything, you kind of lose practice, or? I've never had the opportunity to lose practice. <laughs> yet. I'll let you know. <laughs> okay, so see these little pieces that I patched in here? I'm just going to let uh, these look over the edge. That's what they can see. Oh. I just don't want to move the whole camera because... No, no, no. 
Okay. Hey, Joanne. I think we're good. <laughs> Arlita said, yes, Michelle, we have that here. It's what we do with our cake mistakes. <laughs> Trifle. <laughs> Trifle. <laughs> Yes, Arlinda. It is so true. Oops. <laughs> pavlova. What is that? I think oh, I know what that is. A pavlova in a meringue. That's that's what I was gonna say. It's like a white with fresh berries. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Joanne makes a big trifle every Christmas. What do you use? Do you use raspberries, strawberry preserves? I got I make a delicious cheesecake. It is a perfect cheesecake, by the way. It really is. I make a lemon one with a lemon curd layer you know, too. You know what I used to make every holiday? Um, and I would give them out to the neighbors, and I'd take them to work. But um, I I had those little antique molds like pudding oh, for molds the pound and I, I would make um the best that sour is a cream good vanilla pound cake that is a good oh, oh my gosh I'd like so to good. know how to make pavlova I'm gonna have to look that up Michelle I like the sounds of it I love to hear all these fancy Christmas desserts everyone makes, besides just like the usual cookies. There's so many fancy cookies to make too. Oh, it's a full moon tonight? That's exciting, my watch just told me. Is, there, is it a certain type of moon? I'm, no, I'm gonna tell you all about it. Okay. Okay. The moon is full okay. in Gemini, full moon in Gemini. I can't believe you. Do you guys have any? Are you really watching this yes. fair process going down? And honestly, even after I get the final coat on this and before I would put this up on the sales floor, I'm going to go through and make sure that I still don't have any loose little bits on there. I want to go through this thoroughly to make sure everything is completely adhered. Arlinda, pig picking cake and pumpkin bread are the two things they make every year. Now, pumpkin bread I'm familiar with. You are? What is that? Pumpkin bread? Oh, pig. Oh, I thought you said pig. I'm not familiar with the other one. Tell us about it. Kathy, I hear you. She says, I have sons, not daughters. Desserts were inhaled before they ever got decorated. Yeah. Yes, right. Arlena said, Megan says, fancy dessert as I say pig picking cake. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> Oh my gosh, Jamie. She says, I go to the top of the hill and watch the moon rise over the South Dakota Plains. It's oh. breathtaking watching it rise on the horizon. Oh. Wow. Oh my gosh, that sounds it's so wonderful. I live out in the country and we have big blue skies where I live too. You mm -hmm. can always see the stars so clearly. It's like that at the lake. I, it's, oh gosh, it's just amazing, isn't it? Yeah. It's a wonder to behold. Does this seem like too much work to put into a, a piece of furniture? <laughs> I don't think I mean, so. any, I guess, just doing anything at all to furniture. I mean, where? What's up? She said, it's a wonder to be old. I'm in bed when the stars are out. Really at 4 p.m., Cheryl? Because that's yes. the time they're out right now. So I see she them when I get is. home from work. I, I go to bed very early myself, but. She probably is in bed at this time. I I'm will peek this. outside after I'm done cleaning up for dinner. And I'm going to get this out. one quick coat of medium. Yes, her lady is like living by the ocean. It doesn't make sense.
trolls. What's happening? Was there a troll in there? <gasps> How do troll day? What's going on? Why is everybody saying trolls? Did somebody leave a comment that's but I don't see it. inappropriate? Is it one for you to review? No. No. Then it Trust show. me, I let everybody. What's the tr what are we talking about with the trolls? Oh, I don't see it though. I already blocked one. It says free virtual girls chat here. No. Listen, I don't see it. It seems like it's just specifically for certain oh. ones of you. What does that mean? All right, we're going to start painting this. I chose our very old color, Champlain. Wow. Thank you, Stephanie, for reporting them. I'm also using my... Um, Why do they think they're going to get anywhere with this community? This is my Fusion... <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> this is my Fusion 1, the Stallmeister 1, which is... The one that I use. I was literally like, are we talking about the Trolls Christmas special? I just watched that with my nieces. <laughs> what are we talking about? Jeannie said, I grew up in Alabama, never saw the horizon except for the Gulf. We take hot chocolate and my hus hubby says, I opened his eyes to what he took for granted. Aww. That's lovely. He seems like a nice guy. So this is Fusion. And honestly, with a good brush, you can go right up along that edge with no problem. I hope you guys aren't looking at the top of my head. They're probably looking at their chat with these hot babes. Megan. <laughs> I looked for some kind of blue. I could not find any blue that looked right with this. I know it would have been nice, but I was thinking about that too, that we don't have just quite the bohemian blue. Bohemian blue would be dark, like much darker than this. And I just, no, I know, but that would have been a real, that could have been a state. It's Champlain. This is Champlain. Fusion it's Champlain. Great neutral. It's, it's like a first we had Champlain. We painted everything in Champlain. The raw silk. And then we had raw silk. And now we love, well, we still love raw silk, but this yeah. has a beautiful broad range of neutrals yes. in all different undertones. And we'll get hooked on one for a bit, but Champlain is really pretty. I'm hooked on Victorian lace right yes. now. Yes, yes, that's really nice. It's very different from this. Mm -hmm. Okay, this pig picking cake has pineapple, mandarin oranges, vanilla oh, pudding, cool whip yes. mixed together. The frosting in the cake is a butter yellow cake. I have to make double the frosting because everyone tastes it. I have heard of that. Man, when you've got a good brush. Mm -hmm. That's a Stallmeister, right? This is the Stallmeister one. So I'm going to put two coats on this. So how would you say the two compare, Champlain and Raw Silk? Russell is definitely a more of an lighter, whiter than the Champlain. Champlain's really creamy, yeah. right? And I think it might even have, I would say, yeah, it, you know what? It's it's hard to know. Well, let's look. Okay, these are, these are all of the fusion neutrals, right? The light colors. I mean, look at this. You have got, um... Here's our two whitest. Plaster, goddess ash. Oh, we need to take that out of there. It's discontinued. Plaster, I would think, would be next for creamiest with Champlain, right? Uh, limestone. Oh, yeah. So, like, here's limestone, which definitely has a yellow yes. undertone. And this is raw silk. And this is Champlain right here. So, you can see... All right, I don't know if you guys can see that, but here's raw silk, here's Champlain. I would say Champlain has a little more, I don't know, 
know, like I, I almost want to say like a, a little bit of a greenish. I, I was just gonna say yeah. that, yeah. But it's not green. I hate that to please, say that, but it please is. don't think it's no. green. It's not. It's an awesome neutral that looks good with yeah. so many things. Um, Michelle, how do you like the Stallmeister that you're using? <laughs> Kathy said, Lynn, do you and Jay are still exchange gifts? I'm getting tires for Christmas. Yeah, that's the kind of gift exchange my husband and I do too. No. Actually, I ordered my camera, or I yeah. ordered my computer. He literally says, well, Merry Christmas. I'm You're like, like, I bought it, it myself. It is a biz it's for business. Yeah, and you bought it. It's not like he bought it for you. <laughs> really? <laughs> that's how, yeah. Oh. It's like, that's borderline. He is it. not. I mean, he is a very sweet and loving man. But gifts man. are not his love language. No. For sure to give or receive, really. Uh, gifts are definitely my love language. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I love, I love. Nothing better, I would say. Mm -hmm. That's me, too. And time. Well, that's acts of service, I would say. Wouldn't you? Whereas time spent its own. Time spent its own. It is? So there's gifts. Acts of service, words of affirmation. Acts of service would be like his, physical he shows, touch. Yes, he shows his love by, uh, or he appreciates. Uh, okay, if my if my love language was acts of service, I would totally be like feeling love on all the time. fire for him when he because yeah. he does the dishes every night. No, that's my love language. Really. Words of affirmation first, yes, and then I yeah, like I acts of service for sure. Take something off my. I am gifts and physical touch. David does acts of service that are like up his alley, like charging batteries, and like, <laughs> which are like the things that like you just want. Putting a do. windshield. I don't want to even ever think about it, so it doesn't. But it's like if I were to come down and the downstairs, it's just you know the way I left it. <laughs> I would feel very much loved and in love. So I'll let you know if that ever happens. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it is funny though how we typically do not end up with people who have the, the same love no. language. Oh heavens no. And we tend to like want to show love the way that we want it too. yeah i would say that's true so i'll be like i tell you all the time you're cute <laughs> it's like he's just like i don't care obviously you think i'm cute <laughs> you know what i mean I know, like, right? like yeah so <laughs> yeah it doesn't matter no. <laughs> or i will say terribly like, just go for a ride and just you know just go for it and it's like okay no but it sounds <laughs> awful Although I will say, well, like when we, but if I'm prepared, like if we are going on a road trip, there's nothing I look forward to more than getting in that car and we just hang out here. like for oh. four, five, ten hours together. And, and it's like, and it really is. We don't have to talk the whole time, but it's, it's, I'm one, already it's locked those... and loaded. I got seven podcasts downloaded. <laughs> We're talking Ready about go. love languages, yes. honey. What is? What do you think your love language is? I already know is? what his are. We already know what yours is, but so name name them again, Megan, and let's see. I what think his are says. words of affirmation, time spent. Yeah. Because actually, I don't necessarily think acts of service for him because he's just like I might as well I'll do it myself because I'll do it right. So what he do doesn't you want think? you folding his laundry or you do you know what I mean? Jer does his own laundry. That's what I'm way. saying. I think he'd be words of affirmation and time spent. Jer, what do you think my love languages are? So name them. Okay, so there's have you guys done this before? Yes. Physical touch, words of affirmation, um, acts of service, acts of service, time, time spent, and gifts. Her. her. Yeah. Other than the green hat. Yeah. Oh, I know. Which was really sweet. It was. It is. I do. I used to look down on people and silently judge them sometimes out loud that have gifts as their 
um, really? love language because I just felt like it was so material. But now I do understand that it's really just showing that someone was thinking about you when you weren't around. In advance. It's, it's an ad for me. In advance planning. That is, that is absolutely that is true. Is. Yes. And I, I think can tell you, specifically. you, like to me, okay, so honest to goodness, you could put, um, and if you are a person whose love language is gifts, you will totally get this. Yeah. So say it was just a little uh, charm f for a bracelet. Whatever, whatever. I'm just naming something little and that might seem insignificant. But if you take that and you put it in a box and you wrap it up and put a beautiful bow on it and, and a little curly, whatever. It's that kind of attention to detail and attention to what you know that person gets a kick out of. I, that is, mm -hmm. that to me is... I know at one point, like the glass, beach glass, you were, and I went and hot and stuffed that for you. I just... Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Now if you would you put it in a small box and wrapped it carefully and put a beautiful bow on it, it beautiful, I would have loved it even more. I put it in a beautiful <laughs> bottle so you could have it displayed. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. There is. It's it's just a really special. How does that have anything to do with painting Painting. And whatever hey, are, are you, this is your first day? Hi. <laughs> if you really? ever tuned in my, to one of our videos, we were talking about I try Yule not logs to. for twenty minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not Forget sure. I, I'm not biting on that one. <laughs> yes, you will if I make one. <laughs> I bet you will. It's chocolate. No, well. <laughs> it's chocolate. Uh, I'm gonna remind yeah. you when Can I bring we, it in. I just added another love language. JR's love language is chocolate. chocolate. Yes. Mm -hmm. Sweets. We would say yeah. sweets. Primarily <laughs> chocolate. The mood for some ice cream. The other night we haven't had ice cream in so long. <laughs> no, and the last time we had it, I think, was one of those giant ice cream cones. From, from Circle R, Circle R. Yeah. and both of us felt the effects of that. And, and you only like, have one oh, bathroom. So, <laughs> yes. so, and you brought it up. Like, oh, does it I did. sound good? And he went, he drove in after dinner, and he bought, he brought home ice cream. And <laughs> the next day, chair said, the rest of it's yours. <laughs> <laughs> You have lactose issues. He does. I do. Well, she has a uh, gluten. gluten. I have lactose. Oh. In other words, you're both a blast to be around. Oh my god. Ah, yes. <laughs> but um, bump. Yes. <laughs> All right. On that, I'm leaving. Bye. 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 Sorry, Bye. Tina. L and J Goods Nation. <laughs> the the L and J Goods Nation. Yes. Wow. I love ice cream too. There I go. Got my chance. Oh, chance. Got my chance. My chance pants. Oh. Oh. And I love this brush. Yeah. A stall meester would fit very nicely in a stocking. What's that? A stall meester would fit very nicely in a stocking. Oh my gosh. Wouldn't it though? Oh, Michelle said, my 60th birthday, we were in lockdown in Australia, so limited options. Neil asked me what I'd like to do. I said, I just want you to take me for a scenic drive around all the coastal beaches near us. That sounds lovely. <gasps> oh, my gosh. It does. I do love my husband. It does not sound fun at all to me to be in a car for many hours <laughs> with him. Not a bit. Love him. Or with anybody, really. When New York State was locked down, JR and I had to cancel our home. Oh, our trip to the north room of the like, Grand Canyon. And so we ended up like, okay, we can't we can't legal we can't leave the state. So we just took a road trip and literally traveled every bit of New York State. And it really was it was fun. It was fun. Yes. I'll ride in the car. I just would like to put my headphones in or read a book. Okay. I think my love language is time alone. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> leave my love language is leave me alone. <laughs>
No, I think for sure acts of service, words of affirmation. Now, if that whole drive, he was telling me everything that's great about me, fine. <laughs> I'm in. That's a podcast I'll listen to for five, six hours. <laughs> oh, my. Oh. Hey, where's my little, where's my little nuts? You know what I do, too? Like, you know how Sally, Sally still sends cards and she yes. is the kind of person too who will send it not for an occasion just to tell me that she loves me or how great I am or something, you know. I like to leave it right on the desk where he does his at home work and I will leave it there for weeks. <laughs> just in case, say, hey, did you notice? Oh, does it prompt you to maybe tell me or feel how, how lucky I am? Well, so fig go figure. <laughs> this last batch of knobs that we got what? don't have long enough. Oh, no. We'll just show them what it would look like. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's going to be pretty. And honestly, I think I might go over this with a little um, gold. Oh, Stephanie had to cancel a trip to Iceland. <gasps> Did you really? If you are rescheduling and you need a... Someone to go with, you have a great travel company. As, as I just described, how I don't want to be in a car with anyone. Well, you wouldn't, you wouldn't be in a car to Iceland. No, but I'm a delight to take around. I even on the main road, when mom and I got into our seats, and it's a row of three, she got to the window first and said, Do you want me to put this up so they can see you now or no? And I sat on the aisle. And she said, You don't want to sit? here next to me and I said no I'd like to be on the aisle thank you and then a man had to sit between us and we kept, <laughs> and, I kept it. and I kept talking to her and he kept asking are you sure you guys don't want to sit next to each other I said no I'm good <laughs> it was so <laughs> like I just could not believe it I could oh but it's not like you were moving from the eye from the window well, no and I'm your mother Respect your elders. I wasn't trying to take you from your spot, but I don't think I should have to be taken from the aisle, when, especially when I have to pee oh, so good much. Lord, Megan. I would have had to say, say to that guy, a stranger, excuse me, excuse me. He might have said, do you mind if I sit on the aisle? No, like, that's no. what I mean. If he was on the aisle, I would have had to keep saying excuse me to him to get up and get to the bathroom. I'm not completely. <laughs> are we just, I don't care how fabulous of a person you are. If you're eating from a bag of chips on a road trip, I'm secretly hating you and plotting. <laughs> oh, it's it true. Mom and I both have issues with crunching and munching. And I know I can hear it in myself and I have to say to her, I'm very sorry. This is the only way these chips are getting inside and, of me. And of course, she to decides to eat her lunch of the hardest crackers ever made. I had to. When I am trying to and I carefully apologize. Um, edit something. Some may or... say, <laughs> some may say she chooses to edit right during the lunch hour. And maybe that's not a good idea. <laughs> hey, Patty, you missed so much. Hey, Megan. What? You is Mary Jo here? Or is she, she off was. getting a facial? She was. All right, I want to get this back up ride to my husband. The year he passed away, we drove across country and then came home. Then drove, so we went from one end of the country to the other. Wow. wow. Just this October, Patty, I'm so sorry. Yes, Patty. Yeah, the continuation of paper on this piece is beautiful. Mary Jo's still here. Hi, Mary Jo. Didn't you have a facial today? Or a massage or something? She's been here since the beginning. Wow. Typically, oh, this is her, her pampering day. It's next Wednesday. Oh, okay. Mary said, I went to the movies with a friend when she took out a carton of Pringles. <laughs> oh, how dare she in a movie theater? <laughs> wow. That's absolutely unacceptable. And did you just sit through it? Were you the kind of friends where you could be like, uh, girl, are you serious? <laughs> right now. But that is also when you see somebody eating Pringles, you want Pringles. It's what true what it they say. About a Pringle. Once you pop. Stop. That's really pretty, Mom. Thank you. I think you're going to have to kind of, I'm going to let you see how it looks on here. 
Yeah, I'll back it up a little. Oh, we are a little laggy. Laggy today, aren't we? But she'll photograph it for you. Oh, she gave her the look. Uh oh. I would love to know what that looked like. Okay. And did she continue eating the Pringles? So here it is, you guys. You can see. Yes. I don't think they can. Look. Oh. <laughs> See, you're gonna see how bumpy it is. I can see what see I mean. It. But you see the bumpy? Mm -hmm. That's what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. I don't like down here. It's pr it's just tight on here. We have to it's, loosen it. But. It's okay. never. Oh, but that's beautiful. Right. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh, okay. Gorgeous. Oh, I love it. It really it's so see the metallic a bit on film here. Uh-huh. I know. I mean we were we were kind of looking at it and thinking like how pretty would it be um even to add a little gold leaf, but I I just don't think I want to do that. Like this down here will be so pretty with gold. Oh yeah. Kettle chips are very crunchy, but oh um, my gosh. they're so good. And my mouth is watering thinking about <gasps> kettle chips. I know. And also this crunch of those, and God forbid if I hear anybody else eating them. And I'll tell you what else, God forbid if I hear my husband eating a bowl of cereal. That's the worst. I'm telling, and he knows it too. And I feel bad because it's not anything he's doing wrong. No. He's chewing with his mouth closed. He has every right to eat a bowl of cereal. I just have to leave the room because I, the thoughts that go through my mind are unholy. It's like I can't think straight. It, it, it makes me sweat with fury. <laughs> but a kettle chip, I love it. I absolutely love it, and it will get me into a place of zen crunching on them. Oh, girl. All right. You know well, what I mean? Hey, listen, don't you have to pick up your kids today? I don't. They had a half day today, so they're Grandma Colleen's. Wow. So, I can so we can just go on and on and on. No. But we're not going to. Cereal's the worst because so, of the slurping. This is the beautiful finished project. Now, again, I would emphasize to you that once you have... All of our sealer has completely dried. Go around all of those edges again and make sure that you have addressed any little loose bits and um, you will have a piece that will stand the test of time. I'm telling you, it will. What? <laughs> I'm going to pee my pants. She said, me too. I see a two by four going through their head. Dear Lord, no eating sounds. I'm telling you. People are flying out windows in my mind. Just flipping the bowl of cereal up into his face. I want it to. Yes, it it, puts me, it makes my it. blood boil. It's there's misophonia, a, I think it's called. It, yes, there is a name for it. Oh, <laughs> it is like, it makes my blood boil. Oh my God. And I, I'm saying to myself in your head, this is, it's not him. No. And this is not you, Megan. No. And you know what? I probably sound like that too. I know I do. I know oh, I, I do. I know you do too. I know you do too. <laughs> I know you do too. Trust me when I tell you. All right. Well, listen, you guys, <laughs> enough of this rambling on and on. Um, Go grab yourself a bag of kettle chips. Lock yourself I, in a room alone. <laughs> one thing I can tell you for sure, there would be no ASMR of people eating. No, but there are people, and people like to watch mukbangs of other people eating. And I don't it know is, what that is. A mukbang is like, on YouTube, like, they watch people, like, eating a tremendous amount of food or tasting foods. And people do love it. Yeah. Oh, Jeannie said, my family eating corn. <laughs> <laughs> That's disgusting. <laughs> trips down their face. <laughs> oh, this is going I bad. I like said, I'm so glad I'm not the only one, and I've never been so happy to no longer have PMS. Oh, forget about it. Forget about it if you have PMS. There's nothing holding me back from that 2 by 4 Woo! All right, ladies, and potentially some gentlemen that may be on here. Yeah. Um, if we haven't scared you off. Um... Let's uh let's oh, get dry, together. Yes, oh. Shannon, dry mouth smacking. I know exactly what you mean. Yes. Get a drink of water or a lozenge. Yeah. <laughs> okay, go ahead, sorry. We'll be back next week.
with another project. With a full video of Miss Shirley eating graham crackers and mom eating celery sticks. And Megan eating her Triscuits. salad with very buns. I don't eat fruit tons. A, tin, a big fancy tinned fish. On I smell triscuits, it. yes. On it, triscuits. Was a, it was not just a tinned fish, it was a smoked tinned fish. Oh, <laughs> and I'll probably have it again tomorrow. It's good for you. Yes, it is. Love okay. you guys. We love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Catch us Friday over on Facebook. And again, don't forget, if you're still with us here and you have not already, we would love it if you'd subscribe. Go ahead and leave a comment for us and give us a thumbs up so that um, we feel your love and our videos get I'm only seeing two thumbs up here, guys. That's not going to cut it. Okay? Everybody, thumbs up, thumbs up, Please. thumbs up. Let's have it. All right. Have a wonderful rest of your day. I'm really hoping that the text message that I got is from... Uh, it's from me. A screenshot of some... Uh, oh, it wasn't about a, a massage this afternoon?